Hi everyone! Hello! Welcome to Museo do Ipiranga and Parque da Independencia. We are in this complex to show you this museum and this remarkable garden slash park that is right in front of it. So we wanted to show you this place because the museum is the first museum of history of Sao Paulo and it is located very very close to where originally the Emperor Pedro I declared independence of Brazil. Now the structure being a museum we're not 100% sure if we can film inside or how and how much because maybe some shots we can film some places but some other places we can't maybe we cannot film with the camera and just with the cell phone so we will try to show you as much as possible but we really wanted to even just show you the structure from outside as you can see it is so well done so many architectural details and until today it looks like a remarkable structure and the garden too the garden the landscaping the design there is also a monument way at the end over there that we will go visit so we wanted to come here and definitely see it for ourselves the museum was closed in 2013 and then it was it remained closed for nine years uh, going through like its extensive renovations and then they open it again in 2022 so it's been open like not that long again like uh, and then the, that's another thing if you come here on a Wednesday that the day that is free you might get a lot of people a lot a lot of people the other days you have to pay 30 reais to enter the museum and originally it was opened in 1895 so without any further delay let's go see if we can go inside and if we can show you inside of the building as well We just finished the visit of the museum. You cannot use the professional camera, but with the cell phone we were able to film some short shots that I'm going to show you guys. For me, I think for you too, like personally, I find just the entrance, it's a grand entrance with very nice tiles on the floor, a gorgeous grand staircase and a lot of statues when you go up the staircase there are different statues of the people that were called bandeirantes that were sent by the portuguese royal family to go and discover different territories of brazil and there is a very nice touch all around the staircase there are glass bowls that yeah. have water in it and this water is from different rivers in brazil and underneath it's written the name of the river that was very nice for very me nice very nice and in general all the design of the building the doors the frames the arcs 
amazing. The collection itself uh, is okay. I, 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 I will be honest, I was a bit lost. Yeah, it's a little bit of everything. And nothing. Mix. Like, yeah, yeah, and uh, you don't I know also, exactly what they want with the museum. <laughs> I also think we are spoiled because we went to a museum in Rio if you have watched our video from Rio and that museum my god Pal Palacio do Catete in it Rio It was incredible yeah. incredible Yes one so, of the most beautiful buildings we have yeah, been yeah. but like, I think that is like at yeah, a very very yeah. different level and again this one for the architecture amazing inside the collection I would say come on a Wednesday when it's free yeah. So then you will know that you get uh, a lot for your money. And also there is a um, viewpoint up on top of the museum that you can go and see the whole city. But for us today it's closed. Yeah, it was under so, maintenance they yeah, said, no? under maintenance. Which yeah. would be nice also because you can see the whole city from the top and it's 360 view. But uh, it was closed. Yeah. So. So that's another thing that is interesting if when you come it's open that's really a plus because you have these fountains right here in front of the building at, a, at the garden level which is also the entrance of the museum down there and then from all up there I, I can just imagine how wonderful the view would be but again considering everything just to be here and look at this building and admiring its beauty for me it makes it all worth it after visiting the museum which is now down there you have this park also which is called the independence park or parque da independencia where you have this monument also independence monument or monumento a independencia the construction of this monument started in 1922 and it was completed four years later in 1926. Then in 1953 they actually added a tomb basically inside the monument uh, to include the remains of Don Pedro I and his two late wives. So they are also buried inside this gigantic monument here it is really really grand when you come here the size of this monument is just really really incredible and of course in front of it there is a huge Brazilian flag and always there is also a flame that is burning in the memory of I would say probably Don Pedro I and also all the people who fought probably for the independence of Brazil And now we are in a place that is called Estación da Luz or the Luz Station. This beautiful building is a train station and is also underground connected to the metro system of Sao Paulo. It has the connection to all of the other like uh, rail network of Brazil as well. So if you want to take a trip by train to go to the places that uh, they have connections to Sao Paulo for sure you can do this this is definitely a tourist attraction and 
being connected to the metro station we also came with metro it's very easy uh, to come here get here by metro also right in front there is a park as well which is called Parque da Luz or Luz Park we really wanted to come and see this place because as you can see the architecture is just out of this world and uh, inside also you will see the metal work that you see just a little bit on top of the frame of the doors is amazing so let's go inside and we'll talk to you guys about this uh, structure inside a bit more once you walk in you are welcomed by this amazing grand entrance which has tile work on the floor all of these huge columns that you see and artwork and metal work of the balconies and a gigantic chandelier as well the station is located in Bon Retiro district of Sao Paulo and it was also opened in 1867 so at the end of the 19th century when this uh, station was opened it was meant to have the purpose of being a headquarters of at Sao Paulo Railway also the construction of the whole station was completed later it was opened in 1867 but then the construction was completed in 1901 and a lot of the construction material if not all of it were brought here from the UK which you can see the metal work here the arcs and the bridges they are just amazing and this place is always full of hustle and bustle a lot of trains arriving or leaving a very very cute place to come and see for me it reminds me of the train station for Harry Potter if you have seen the video the movie you're gonna see what I'm talking about <laughs> it's a very very nice sight beautiful Also the station houses the Museum of the Portuguese Language for Sao Paulo Museu da Língua Portuguesa The ticket to get in is 24 reais per person But um, we are going to go to another place to see that uh, we think is more interesting for us So let's see so as soon as you come out of the museum, which is right here, at the end of this building, which is the station that uh, we showed you in the beginning, when we arrived here, right across the street, there is another museum, which is called Pinacoteca. We want to go and check it out. So the next place that we wanted to come and see is this building or museum, Pinacoteca unfortunately we are here on a tuesday which is the only day of the week that it is closed but we wanted to come and see the building and tell you a little bit about it also besides being closed on tuesdays it's worth mentioning that on saturdays it's free entrance you don't need to pay for a ticket so you have that option too if you want to come on a saturday and not pay for a ticket so pinacoteca is like the oldest museum in sao paulo we really wanted to come and see it but it's closed and we chose exactly the day that it's closed uh, but maybe like uh, we come back here another day the museum was founded in 1905 and it is one of the most important museums in brazil because it houses a lot of works of brazilian artists actually the main brazilian artists like they all have their work exposed here so that's why it's very important so we might come back here another day to see inside and what we can film inside because it might be also possible that like some of the museums you cannot film inside if we come back then we will continue and we'll show you inside 
so we are back another day today is Monday to visit Pinacoteca hopefully we can get in and show you at least some parts of it we're not sure if we can film inside or not but let's try for the second time <laughs> yeah at least maybe at this time it's gonna work out yeah okay once again it seems like Pinacoteca is uh, not cooperating we are here on a Monday and you can go in um, you buy the ticket of 30 reais and you can go in but the cute historic old building that we wanted to see actually and it's the main reason that everybody comes here is under renovation very very short renovation so it will only open in a few days and we figured well if we are still here then we come back when everything is open so we can actually see if we can film and show you that part too so sorry but even the second attempt again is not a success we will come back and it seems like third time is a charm we are finally inside the pinacoteca now um, we are also allowed to use the camera it's just the stick that I have always to hold the camera I cannot use it so I'm just holding the camera by hand but you can use it as you enter there is this statue at the bottom and you see all the columns and everything else here it is really nice and I don't know I'm just like a big kid with a big smile because we could finally come in and visit Pinacotec so Pinacoteca is one of the most important museums in Brazil uh, as we are walking through the museum I'm going to also give you guys some more information about the museum as you can see through the architecture and the entrance the museum is housed in a 1900 building and it is very close to the um, Estação da Luz, the metro station that we showed also in this video before coming here. The museum is the oldest art museum in Sao Paulo and it was founded in December 1905 and established as a public state museum since 1911. The entrance for the museum is 30 reais per person. So we paid 60 and you have access to other structures also that are considered to be part of the same museum. But uh, we're just gonna go and uh, visit this one, the main one, main collection and all the galleries that they have here. As you walk through the halls, there are these like areas that are open. On top there is glass. And this is also a very nice touch. This is an elevator that it's all exposed. So you see all the mechanisms and all the cables of the elevator going up and down. That's a nice touch. another gallery for Jose and Paulina Nemirovsky. So there are three floors you walk in basically from the first floor or the main floor um, now we are on the top floor of the second one and then after that we're gonna go down there is one like a basement level that uh, 
all around each floor there are different galleries that you go in and they have different collections that you can visit then on the third floor you also have this space it's like a huge balcony that you can see the Estación de Luz from here across the street the clock tower and also the Museum of uh, Portuguese language that is located down there So obviously the collection is huge, there's a lot of different uh, rooms that you can go and each one has a different collection. Uh, unfortunately we won't be able to film all of them because then the video is going to be too long but I'm going to try to show you as much as we can. This one I'm going to just show you what's in there. We are now on the ground floor or I would say actually basement and there is also a laboratory here that they do the conservation or if some um, valuable pieces of art they are damaged or something here is a laboratory I think that they work on the pieces and try to repair them like this painting here it's being restored inside the laboratory you see they are sample paints and everything else to try to match the original one as much as possible i find these columns uh, cute it's a nice touch the statue is basically holding the weight of the whole building <laughs> there is another one here too right here on the corner that's nice so we just came out and did the tour of the building as you get out there is also a store here a gift shop that you can buy products from there is a place that if you have like big bags uh, most probably they will ask you to leave them there because even for us when we came in there is a metal detector and the bag also that you have it cannot be too big so you might be able to leave it there then another nice touch about this place is that it's right next to a park this park, the main entrance uh, over there is right in front of the Estación de Luz but you can also go here and it's all around this building that you have this park. We're gonna just uh, walk around and see the park too before we end the tour. As you walk around this park, it's, it looks like the trees are really competing with each other to impress you more and more. Like, look at the trunk of this tree. It's fantastic, amazing. I haven't seen anything like this before. So thick, so many different like trunks, but then they're all part of one tree. Wow. All right, this ends uh, this video. We were very happy that we could finally come and visit Pinacoteca. Uh, we really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a like to support the rating of the video and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Ciao.